you. Hi guys, what is up? Today we are reacting to top six scary ghost videos by Fearsome Top Five. We're back at it. I know y'all like these videos, so let's get right into it, bro. You know what I'm saying? Enough of yapping. Let's keep watching. Here we go. Welcome to Fearsome Top Five. Let's go. Let's dive in and take a look at six spine chilling scary videos. Number one. Number one. A Reddit user that goes by Blade Runner 344 recently posted a video to the Paranormal Encounters subreddit that quickly got flooded with comments. This video was captured on a home security camera in the uploader's hometown in Colombia. In this bizarre footage, a man can be seen entering a house, but what happened next is incredibly unsettling. Hmm. What? Whoa, what the hell? What the hell? Bro, who threw that? <laughs> who threw something? That is wild. Bro, somebody threw something. As the video begins, a man can be seen casually entering a house. But soon after, something came flying through the air and appeared to yank the man out the door. Within what? a second, this unidentified oh, that was anomaly a darted from the lawn to the door. Damn! The man to violently get ejected from the house. Damn! The that is crazy. Man, he was clearly unconscious, catching the attention of. Bro, the ghost knocked him unconscious. That is wild. Now, Me personally, admit that I'm I have throwing no hands. Idea what actually happened? And according to the uploader, the man in the video is alive, but unfortunately has no memory of this incident. If any Damn, any and the ghost made him and blacked his ass. That is crazy. And in the meantime, you remember I'm going to try my best to avoid whatever this is. Number two. A woman named Morgan Lambert. Either it was a ghost or he was off the wall. to all things creepy. From scary stories, urban legends, and even her own personal experiences with the paranormal. Well, one night while at home with her husband, it was just the two of them in the house. But around 10 p.m., they began to hear strange noises coming from downstairs. Immediately startled, they thought that someone might have broken in. Thinking fast, Morgan thought to check her security camera, but she wasn't prepared for what she saw. Oh. Did you Bro, know and we got it out. As a 50 million <laughs> You know, I hate ads. What the hell? The hell? Bro, what is that? Bro, did it move? Nah. Nah, that's gotta be scary, yo. No cap, bro. Nah, that's crazy. Hey, bro, y'all was like five seconds too late. I'm going to be honest with you. Y'all was five seconds too late. The, the ghost is already dipped. Ah, oh, hell no. Nah. Got a little fruit punch, you know what I'm saying? As Morgan scanned the room, the terrifying outline of a man can be seen, appearing to be standing facing away from the camera with only one pale arm clearly visible. She zoomed in trying to make sense of what she was seeing, when suddenly this figure darted to the right, going out of view. She yes, zoomed back nah, out, feeling nah. that the living room was now empty, with no signs of a person. Moments later, Morgan and her husband rushed downstairs to investigate. 
they checked there's the nothing rooms, there and Morgan's uh, hell no nah. use as a weapon according to Morgan this wasn't the first time they've encountered a figure that they couldn't explain and now we're left to wonder if this was truly something paranormal or if it's time for them to change their locks yeah, it might be time to call a locksmith, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> Christopher Duncan uploaded a video to YouTube uh. that was captured by a security camera inside a church. According to Chris, staff members at this church believe that it's being haunted by an unseen paranormal presence. Several incidents of unexplainable things have happened inside the building. And now one of the security cameras inside finally caught proof of these hair-raising events. <laughs> John, how is it doing that? <laughs> but wait, but wait, but wait, John. It's about to break on its own. It's going to break it's on its own. You have to watch what? It until it breaks. It's going to break. It has to be not very grounded. Watch, 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 John. Are you watch. watching this thing? Yeah. It's, it's not moving. No, oh. Watch, watch, watch. watch. Watch, John. Oh, Watch. what the hell? Bad hurts, so bad. Yeah, pull sticks moving on its own. There's ghosts in here. Nobody listens to me. Watch it. Is it gonna break? It's about to go crazy and break. What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's still moving. It's still moving, y'all. Bro, moving. what? It's still moving. Bro, even if you had fishing line to break that, bro. This, nah, hell no. Nah. What broke that? That's crazy. Poor Brooke, get in the get in the path of the demon. Nah, that's creepy, bro. What broke the pool stick? <laughs> nobody listens to me. There's ghosts in this building, and nobody listens to me. I don't know if it's demons. I don't know if it's ghosts, but there is something in this building. Yeah, because I'm telling you, like we've seen, like I, eight years, stuff has just disappeared. A pool stick under the table can be seen somehow moving completely. Yeah, unexpected. but as time went on, this unnerving movement. I don't know, bro. Like, <laughs> but just as it seemed like this bizarre incident was over, the pool stick suddenly snapped. There was clearly no one touching it when it abruptly cracked in two. The reactions of the Bruh, people that's watching weird, this though. Like... sound incredibly genuine and just as confused as I am. No other object or person in the room seemed to cause this, making it seem as if an unseen force was responsible. But if that's true, then this ghostly force is alarmingly strong. Number four. Yeah. Over on TikTok, a woman named Sapphire runs an account where she showcases her many haunted dolls. She's always equipped with an EMF meter, a REM pod, and a flashlight, and uses these as tools to communicate with the spirits attached to these dolls. Well, out of her entire collection, one of these dolls creeped me out more than the rest. Christy, can you show me your hair right now? Good job. Bro. Can you touch your favorite tool? Definitely the REM pod. Can you turn that off? Oh hell no. Nah. Can you turn it back on? Good job. Can you hold it down in your favorite color, honey? It's black, but you said green. And green, black and green. Wow, that's a really that's interactive really ghost. Fast. The sweet break. Were you um were you in the army? You can use these words in this app to communicate anything you want to me. Are you able to piece them together to tell me how you passed away? Ammo? Did somebody S H O O T you? Yeah. Are you 28? I see a shot in the back. Christy, how oh, can I help on. you? Is 
Is there anything you want to tell me right now? You should wait. After asking a spirit named Christy to show that she's there, the REM pod immediately went off in response. She then asked the spirit to turn the flashlight off, and moments later, yeah, the light nah. went out. And even more got a little goosebumps chat. Now you can go cat with you, bro. I got a little goosebumps, but it's okay. Brightened. She then continued to ask questions, with several responses coming through. We got an interactive ghost today. Haunted or not, it's hard to tell. But regardless, this is one of the creepiest dolls I've ever seen, and I'd prefer to never come within a 10-mile radius of that disturbing smile. Nah, that's scary, bro. Scary as hell. Yo, shout out Juice Road. Number five. Number five. A guy named Vic T has been working at a liquor store, but little did he know when he got the job that there was a malevolent presence in the building. He began recording on TikTok anytime something strange would begin to happen. And as the months went on, all the attention he was giving this entity only seemed to make it worse. Hey guys, so look, I'm hearing voices again. Yo, y'all. Bro's Randy like... Orton. Did somebody say hey? Yo, man. Yeah, I Freaking leave. Mm -mm. <sighs> Hello? Oh, no. No, 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 no. That's Bruh, not I, I, I mean, it could be his ear. friend doing yeah. that, but like, if he proves that he's in there by himself. Traps, bro. Traps, you could. Nobody's here. Oh my god, dude! It sounded like something was behind me. It could be fake. I ain't gonna lie to you, but I don't Hello? know, bro. Die. Okay, I'm done with this. You need to leave. Get out. Being in the store by yourself is crazy. Oh, dude, you guys hear that, right? You guys hear it? I'm not tripping. I'm not tripping. While completely alone in the store, a haunting voice seemed to call out to him over and over. And it's hard to deny that it sounds like this voice is saying, hey. Vic T showed the cameras that overlook the entire store, proving that no one else was there. Unfortunately for him, usually when he starts to close for the night, the activity in the store begins to pick up. Oh, nope, nope, nope. I just got touched. Nope, nope. Okay, so I'm here at work. Bro, I'm Bro, you, what? Right? You heard that, right? I'm closing. And I'm, I'm like hearing stuff, bruh. I'd never work there, bro. I'm like closing. They got it, bro. And I'm. Imagine this attached to him, though. I'm hearing, um, bro. Come on, bro. I get goosebumps watching this, bro. Cause it's like real, I guess. I mean, I don't know, but nobody's in here. I'm literally closing. Yo, yo, yo. Bro, imagine you had experienced this by yourself, though. I don't know though. what's going on with this thing, but it's been like really active here lately just wanted to show you guys there's nobody in the store but me ghost is speaking bro right behind him that is crazy the same voice as before continued to call out to him clearly he trying to communicate bro. he nervously moved throughout the store showing once again that he was completely alone after a certain point, it became part of his nightly routine to begin recording when he could sense this dark presence nearby. Mm. Leave. Oh, go. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Get out of here. Oh. Leave. Yeah, you could. Oh, dude, I'm hearing. No, 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 no. Okay. Mm -hmm. you, Who knocked that thing over, though? That's the real question. Who knocked that thing over earlier? Leave. But he got pushed? 
Bro, I'll be throwing hands, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. Getting pushed by a ghost. I'm just letting you go. There's nobody in this store. See, I'm telling I'm doing what you guys want, and then I'm hearing just, there's going on everywhere, dude. Man. Leave. You need to leave. From a case of drinks falling to the floor to a loud knock coming from somewhere eerily close by, this sinister force just won't seem to quit. The hair-raising voices that often come from over his shoulder have left him dreading to go to work. And at this point, I'm downright shocked that he hasn't quit yet. Bro, I would've been quit. First night that happened, I would've been gone, Paranormal bro. Paranormal investigators Jeff, Becky, and Mark from the Ghost Tech Paranormal YouTube channel Number six. set out to investigate a place known as the Commissioner's House. This old building was constructed in 1704, and it's the oldest intact naval building in Great Britain. Many guests that have stepped foot inside the house have reported seeing the ghostly apparition of a gray lady. As well as oh, the ghost no. of a woman named Mary, who took her own life in the house after learning that her lover was killed in battle. Mysterious screams and cries can sometimes be heard mm. echoing throughout the house. Menacing shadow figures have been seen to lurk to. the property. <laughs> and ghostly children can sometimes be spotted wandering the halls. With their static cameras in place, the Aww. team was ready to kick off the investigation. Here we go, bro. Some, ju some juicy shit, bro. Inside, Ghost adventures type stuff. Began an EVP session with hopes of communicating with any spirits inside the house. Hi there. We would like to speak to the governors, please. My name's Jeff, and the lady there is Becky. Jeff, Becky, you're Now, good. was it you that activated our REM pod? That's there at the top of the stairs. Did you just speak to me? No. Did you say a word? No. Told you. I just heard a woman's voice just say Jeff right in my ear. Good. And hopefully I've got it on the digital recorder. In real time, Jeff heard a female voice say his name directly into his ear. Luckily, this disembodied voice was also captured on his digital recorder. Now, was it you that activated our REM pod? That's there at the top of the stairs. Now, was it you that activated our REM pod? Now, was it you that activated our REM pod? Yeah. Activated our REM pod. That's crazy. Now that they knew that they were not alone, Jeff continued to ask questions to find out exactly who he was talking to. That's right, my name's Jeff. Can you tell me what your name is, please? She on the stairs. So I know that you're here. Yeah. And you can hear me. Now don't think that we're intruding or anything like that. We've asked permission to come here tonight. You didn't ask the ghost to for permission. Because people have seen you. Not only you, they've seen the children. Thank you. Nah, bruh. They've seen the children that I take that you look after or looked after in this building. But I've heard that unfortunately they passed away. Is that correct? Instant Thank responses are crazy, bro. Now, the REM pod at the top of the stairs went off multiple times in response to Jeff's questions. And while this was all happening, Mark was alone upstairs trying to make contact with the ghostly children that have been said to lurk inside. This one's to the children. I've got the doll's house here. Would you like to come and play with it and maybe close the door for me? Just like this, look. Now, if I open it again, would you be able to close it for me? 
It closes a little bit on its own, but... Could you maybe make a noise or knock on something to let me know you're here with me? Just like this. I thought I heard some knocking in response there. I thought I heard that too. Just like this. A faint knock came in response to his question, possibly coming from one of the ghostly children. Back on the ground floor while still investigating near the staircase, something happened that caught Jeff and Becky off guard. The communication with the governess fell silent on the ground floor, so Becky and I decided to go to the rear staircase where a woman was either murdered or where she took her own life by hanging. And as we're about to make our way there, the front door handle turns as if someone is trying to come in. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Bro, the ghost I trying to come in. Someone was going to come through the door. Yeah. <laughs> so did I. <laughs> yeah, nah. That was wild, bro. Okay. Can't explain okay. that, right? Um, mm -hmm. I thought someone was going to come through the door. Yeah, <laughs> so did I. <laughs> someone or something sounded like it was trying to come in, and as the two that made Probably the your ghost, you can just go to the door. <laughs> like something made an appearance on camera. There's definitely there's a beautiful view outside. I can imagine in the day. When you were here, it would have been lovely to look out. Shadow figure. Okay. Bro. Right, where? Something went across. Okay. All of you and blacked you out. That's crazy, oh, bro. Thank you. But it, but it you. so quick that I wasn't yeah. sure. I don't know where it went to. Okay, thank you. If that was you that showed yourself, that's brilliant. Thank you very much. There's movement on them stairs. Yeah, there is. Good. I see a black shadow pass between Becky and I, which moves from left to right. Here is the footage again, followed by the footage enhanced and in slow motion. When you were here, it would have been lovely to look out. Shadow figure. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it literally covers the entire screen. That's crazy. After seeing this dark anomaly on camera, we're left to wonder who or what could have caused this. And from the evidence caught throughout the night, I think it's safe to say that something is still lurking in the old commissioner's house. Make sure to follow me. Yep. Um, I mean, guys, you know, uh, thank y'all for watching the video. Um, it's a pleasure doing these videos for y'all. Like, comment, and subscribe. Appreciate y'all subscribing. We just hit 225 on the channel. I really appreciate that. And uh, share this to your friends. And making more. More videos on the way. Have a great day. Eat.